After the Kansas City Chiefs took home a win yesterday and locked in their Super Bowl spot, America's it couple, meaning the Chiefs tight end, Travis Kelsey and pop star Taylor Swift have once again broken the brains of some conservatives in the United States because those conservatives are now predicting that the Super Bowl will in fact be rigged in favor of the Kansas City Chiefs so that Kelsey and Swift can capitalize off of that big moment and offer an endorsement of President Joe Biden for reelection. <laughs> I think it's true. Ah. Let's just run with it. Let's run with yeah. it. So uh, Vivek Ramaswamy is one of the idiots that are pushing this conspiracy theory. We'll get to him in a second. Uh, so, okay, this is it's it's gonna work, and here's how it's gonna work. Uh, the ch could the Chiefs win the Super Bowl? Of course, they have the best player in modern history. They have the best coach. They have an amazing team. There isn't anyone the Chiefs couldn't beat. They could lose to the 49ers, but they but they easily could win, right? And is Taylor Swift going to endorse Joe Biden? Well, she did last time, so her chance of endorsing Joe Biden this time is sky high. So when that's why Vivek, he thinks he's so smart. So when the Chiefs win the Super Bowl and then Swift endorses Biden, which are the two most likely outcomes, he's gonna say, aha! No, there's no aha, they're an amazing team. I don't know if <laughs> Vivek Ramaswamy or anyone who subscribes to these conspiracy theories knows this. But Taylor Swift doesn't need a Kansas City Chiefs NFL Super Bowl win in order to get adequate attention for her <laughs> presidential endorsement. I don't know. I don't know if they know that. Okay, okay. let me so let me give you two facts about that. So she has 257 million followers on Instagram. Doesn't sound like a lot. What does she need? Two hundred and fifty-eight million. And if this, if the Chiefs lose the Super Bowl, are her two hundred and fifty-seven million followers going to be like, Nah, I don't believe in Taylor Swift anymore. I'm done with her. <laughs> I mean, this is insane. I mean, how dumb do you have to be? And the NFL, hundreds of billions of dollars are on the line. You think they're going to rig the most important game, the thing that gets the highest ratings, the biggest money maker in television, so that Taylor Swift's endorsement of Biden could be a little bit more powerful? <laughs> Come on, maybe, man. Maybe. No, no <laughs> Come it's, on. it is ridiculous. Okay, so before I give you more details on this story, if you want to call it that. I just want to note that the Travis Kelsey, Taylor Swift stories, too many, there's too many of them. Okay, and I don't want your notifications about this topic ever. I don't care. I barely care about Taylor Swift's music. Why would I care about who she's sleeping with? Ooh. Like I'm so sick of those headlines and I'm look, the headlines are the headlines. It is what it is. I'm not going to stop reporters or journalists and whatever they they want to call themselves from reporting on this story. Just stop with the notifications. Stop. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that's point number 1. Right now the NFL's recalculating. They're like, well, we no, thought it would affect <laughs> if the Chiefs won then Anna might base on Taylor's, but she doesn't care about Taylor's endorsement. All right, Niners, go Niners. The NFL's not writing these stories. It's like <laughs> entertainment reporters. But like every day there's a new, you know, Travis Kelsey, Taylor Swift headline, and it's the same story. We know we they're, know dating. they're dating. We, we know. know. We Let's know. move on, please, for the love of God. Okay, now let's get back to Ramaswamy.